what's up people a lot of opportunities in this space so guys i'm thinking of dropping videos every day for you guys in this channel tell me what you think in the comment section should i go ahead or not let me know in the comment section so today i'm going to show you how to participate in the agro devnet is almost the same thing with testnet so let's go So guys, this is Argo Devnet public launch. This article was published on the 19th of May. That means we are still very much early to participate in this Devnet. So Devnet launch public Devnet live at Argo.so. The Argo Devnet is live at Argo.so. Check out the tutorial at blah 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 for a quick walkthrough of Argo's functions. We are excited to announce that Argo is now available for public beta testing on the DevNet app. You can claim tokens from our faucet and deposit them into Saba's DevNet pools. The DevNet LP tokens can then be deposited into Argo as collateral, where they will earn DevNet SBR, that is Saba rewards. Furthermore, votes can be created to test out the mains slash pay functions for USA. Please note that all DevNet tokens have no value and are for test purposes only. Okay, guys. So um, there are some steps we need to take here. First, we need to go and get the Phantom wallet because that is the needed wallet for this DevNet. And then we need to go and connect it to this site. First, we have to connect to Argo.so to Saba's DevNet pools. And when we connect to Saba's DevNet pools, we need to swap, we need to provide liquidity, we need to get the testnet tokens, we need to do um, withdrawals, we need to do a lot of stuff. And then in the Argo.so, there we need to borrow. But before we borrow, we need to provide collateral. That is depositing some of our tokens as a collateral. We can also withdraw we can also repay what we have borrowed. So you don't need to worry here to help you navigate through this. So just sit back and pay attention to the steps. So as usual, we need to go to Chrome extension in order to get our Phantom wallet. We search for Chrome and we click on this and we add it to Chrome. Add extension and is asking us to create a new wallet or if we already have a wallet we can import it all right i know you already know the steps but let me still show you once again so click on create a new wallet and you make a password confirm your password and you have to agree with them and continue then this is your secret phrase. I always tell you not to share your secret phrase with anybody. So write it out and keep it safe. So the next thing is to click on I saved my secret recovery phrase. And then we continue. Click on continue. You are all done. Click on finish. So we go to this icon and search for our phantom wallet. And here it is. So we need to change this to the devnet. This is already in the mainnet, but we need to adjust it to the settings and change it to DevNet. So click on this and scroll down. You're going to see change network and go to DevNet, not testnet. Click on DevNet and you are currently on DevNet. So that is it on setting up our wallet. So we go back to this and we click on Saba's DevNet. And we connect our wallet. Continue. We click on Phantom and connect. So note that this project does not have a token yet. They just launched their DevNet and they are asking you and I to test their platform. That means as soon as they launch their own tokens, we are definitely going to be eligible for a future airdrop from this project. In order for us to get the testnet tokens, we go to airdrops. So click on it. And here we are. I'm going to show you how to get so. 
because we need so for the transaction fee i remember we are using the solana wallet which is the phantom wallet so we we'll click on usdc to claim the testnet tokens and it requires us to make a tweet with our twitter account they are doing this in order to avoid spam and boots and to verify that people participating on this devnet are real human beings and not boots so we click on this and we make this tweet then copy out the link of the tweet and go back here then enter the link to that tweet and click continue so you can see that our wallet balance has just increased to 100 usdc this is how you do it for each and every one of these tokens but not for solana like i said i'm going to show you how to get solana now you can see that we have claimed for every one of these test tokens you can see 100 100 100 1 rent btc and wrap btc 100 okay so let's go ahead and claim for solana we go to agro.so and then click on launch app and connect and connect your phantom wallet so we click on faucet and here we can claim some so all right you can claim this so every 10 minutes okay now if you look here your tokens we have claimed from the other website okay which is the saba devnet pools website so let's go ahead and claim so we have just claimed one so if you check our phantom wallet let's see and here we go we have one so in this wallet and every other token we have also claimed now we go back to the other website and do some swapping let's swap some usdc to pay so 20 or 30 usdc we approve it in our wallet so when you look down here you will see that our balance for usdc has reduced and our balance for pay has increased okay we can decide to swap some more swap 10 tests to pay confirm it and approve in your phantom wallet so our test has reduced also and our balance for pay has increased okay guys the next thing we need to do is to go to pools and provide some liquidity so we can deposit usdc and usdt we can deposit usdc and pay usdc cash usdc usdt cash so and test usdc and the rest of them we can also do same for BTC, we can see RAIN BTC and RAP BTC. All right, let's start with this. We click on deposit. And we can say 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Remember that when you're providing liquidity, the two pairs has to have equal value. And that is what we just did now okay so we click on deposit and we confirm it and this time around we are not using the metamax we are using the phantom wallet i just approve it and now it says that we have 0 0.99 on staked lp tokens that is the ren btc and wrap btc so we are going to stick them as well how do we do that we go to farms and we click on btc and here it says stake and we enter the amount we want to stake and we click on deposit need to approve here so right on the top here you can see your liquidity staked we have successfully staked REN BTC and RAP BTC LP. And also you can see your unclaimed tokens, meaning that we have started any rewards immediately. So if you want to claim these, we just click on the claim button 
and we have claimed our rewards so let's go back and provide some more liquidities in other pools so click on this we enter an amount let's say 30 and 30 and click on deposit confirm it and approve and the same thing is telling us we have 59.26 cent on state lps on usdc and usdt so we go back to farms now there is an easier way to go to farms if you don't want to go up there you can just click this and it will take you to farms but i prefer going through this way and we click on usd to see our on state lp so here we can click on stick and look at the balance instead of typing it we can just click on this and it will enter automatically so we click deposit we approve as usual we have successfully staked our usdc and usdt lp we have started receiving rewards immediately as well so this is how you do it for every one of these tokens right now we are going to go back to ago.so website so here we click on votes and we open votes we see the liquidity we have staked if you open these votes you're going to see them you open this you're going to see them so let's start with this and it says open Saba USDC and USDT LP vote. Approve it. So now you can see that we need to deposit some collateral and we need to withdraw. We need to mint, which is the borrowing, and we also need to pay. And if you look here, you will see that we have zero collateral that means we need to go back to this other website and make some deposits so go to pools and deposit this click on this confirm it and approve it okay, now we have this but we want to use it as collateral so we go back to argo.so and now you can see that we have a balance to deposit as collateral if you don't have a collateral you cannot borrow so you borrow against your collateral so we click on this and we deposit and we approve as usual here the transactions are actually popping up behind my camera so we approve this or maybe I should move this to this place so you can be seeing it we approve again or rather I can take it up here yeah now we have just deposited some collateral if you click on mint you're gonna see that we can actually borrow 33.33 USA okay and if you click withdraw you can see we can withdraw our deposited collateral and if you click repay you will see we have nothing to repay because we have not actually minted or borrowed anything so let's try to do some borrowing let's borrow 10 okay it says minimum debt must be at least 70 USA but we don't have up to that to so that means we need to provide some more collector before we can actually borrow and for us to do that we go back to this website and we add some more collateral so let's say we are depositing every of this and the same value in wrap btc so deposit confirm approve so let's go back to agro.so and now we have some balance to deposit as collateral click on it and click on deposit and we approve it we approve the transaction again one more approval 
so we have just provided collateral if you look down here you will see collateral tokens and this is the amount of collateral we provided and this is the value of the collateral we provided okay and down here you will see vote debt the amount we borrowed is going to show here and available to borrow is 15,000 plus so we click on mint and you see that we have 15,000 plus to borrow so let's try to borrow 10,000 okay and click on mint and we approve it wow we have just borrowed 10,000 USA so down here you can see 10,000 USA in is in our vote debt okay and we have 5,000 plus available to borrow okay so let's try doing some repaying we click on repay and we enter the, all the amounts and it says minimum debt must be at least oh what is that let's try something and see so we just type in let's try repaying 71st and see what happens and approve it okay, so we have just paid 70 let's try another repaying it's 100 okay and one more final repaying let's try 5000 oh that is great and now our debt has reduced to 4830 USA I hope this was actually easy for you and if you have any difficulties kindly comment down below so that I can provide further assistance whenever they're going to release their token and do an airdrop we are definitely going to be eligible that will be all for this video guys i want you to tell me what area you want me to improve on i am open for improvement and if you know any legit projects out there that i've not talked about kindly inbox me my socials are available you can always chat me up thank you for watching this video if you have not subscribed yet please go ahead and do so and remember to turn on the notification bell like this video share it and comment i'm going to see you in my next one thank you so much for watching we are going to make it bye